This is how people become a victim in their life. They wait until they feel good before they do right. Instead, we can flip that equation around and realize that if we do right, we will feel good. Now, this is something that all of us probably need to be reminded of every day, right? Because it is normal, it is typical, this is what everybody does, is to wait until they feel good before they do the right thing. Wait until conditions are optimal. Wait until things are working well before they do what they said they were going to do. Whatever that means for you, however you're pursuing your goals. So for example, these videos that I make, I never feel like making these videos. I never feel like posting on Instagram. Now, you might say, gosh, George, how, how do you live with yourself? You never feel like doing it and you still do it anyway. Isn't that painful? Well, let me ask you this. What about the people who stay fit, who exercise, who go to the gym or train for marathons? Do you think they feel like doing it? If, if, only, if people only did it if they felt like it, there would be no marathon runners. There would be no elite athletes. Okay, There would be no uh, world-class artists or ex successful business people. Okay, it, Successful people have learned to keep reminding themselves of the correct equation, which is when you do right, then you feel good. You do right no matter how poorly you feel. No excuses. If you allow yourself excuses, you will manifest things that you can call excuses. It's the truth. If you say, oh, I don't feel good right now, then you're going to manifest more not feeling good. Oh, uh, I have a family emergency right now. Oh, you, you're going to manifest more family emergencies. Oh, I've got a phone call i got to take. Well, you could, it's, magically, you're going to manifest more phone calls. It's the weirdest thing. Okay? So if you plan, so here's the simple, so simple formula. Plan, practice, and then praise. Let me explain this. You plan what your goals are and what you need to do to achieve your goals, whatever it is, you, you have to decide for yourself what is sustainable for you. And yes, in the planning phase, you need to work it out with your family. You need to work it out with your, with your sense of health, whatever your health needs are. You need to work those things out in your plans, okay? Oh, I, I need a certain number amount of sleep. I need a certain amount of self-care. I need a certain amount of time with family, things to take care of. And when I'm working my, my, my goals, then I need to tell my family, this is not the time to, 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 to contact me, to bother me, or whatever it is. To, to, I will help you afterwards, right? You need a plan so that it's sustainable, sustainable rhythm to reach your goals. And then you need to practice your, your, your plans no matter what. You need to show up for the process no matter what. And the practice means that it's not going to be perfect. It means that you're just doing it because you're honoring your plan. No matter how poorly you feel, no matter how suboptimal the results, I make these videos anyway. So for example, my, uh, my green screen here, I'm, I haven't figured it out yet. So here you got the white screen behind me. It's not optimal, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing the video anyway. Okay? And then praise. So plan, practice, and praise. Right after you, you practice your plan, you got to celebrate. you got to praise yourself or praise God. Whatever you believe the source of your power is, the source of your creativity, praise that source, whether it's yourself or God or the universe, and celebrate. Okay? Then you reinforce how good it is to follow your plan. So break the cycle of having to feel good before you do right. This is how people get into a terrible life. They don't feel good, so therefore they don't do the right thing. And not doing the right thing means that they feel guilty. And then feeling guilty means that they go into addictions because they're trying to escape the, feel, the bad feelings of not doing the right thing. Okay, And then the bad consequences that happen as a result of not doing the right thing. So then they escape, escape into, you know... Um, you know, just being a couch potato or social media or pornography or uh, 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 drugs or junk food or pick your addiction of choice. 
And then it's a vicious cycle. Then you still feel bad and you don't do the right thing and then you feel guilty and then you escape and then blah, blah, blah. Break the cycle immediately right now by saying, I'm going to commit right now to do right no matter what, knowing that I will feel good afterwards. And here's a tool that can help. You can give yourself a quick minute. Use your mind and heart to reset yourself. Breathe. And, and, and say your affirmations or meditate or do yoga or whatever just for one minute. Reset yourself. Say, I'm just going to feel a little bit better, just a little bit better right now by resetting myself without needing any substances. And then I'm going to do the right thing, no matter how poorly I do it, knowing if, if I do it consistently, I will get better at it over time. Okay? Do the right thing, and then I will feel good afterwards. So I hope this helps. Now it's your turn. Go and reset yourself just for one minute. Go do the right thing, the thing that you plan to do to reach your goals, and then you'll feel great afterwards. Take care.